This is River City Sports, and I'm Jake Chapman. And uh, with me, as always, is Coach Webb. And Coach, last Friday, you guys fall to Silverdale, thirty-six, uh, sixteen. What do you have to do this week to reverse the outcome from last week to get a W this week? I think take care of of us first. And it's been we've preached that all week that we can't necessarily worry about what they're doing. We got to do things better uh, from a technique standpoint, and we did that better in the second half. And obviously, uh, did did a much better job on both sides of the ball in the second half. And what sticks out about CCS compared to other teams on your schedule? Uh, just sheer size of numbers. Uh, the fact that they don't they play some kids both ways, but a lot of kids play one way, and that's beneficial this time of year. Uh, they're balanced offensively. They're well coached. Um, so it's it's a special rivalry for us. We look forward to it. This is Jake Chapman with River City Sports, and with me are offensive linemen for Lookout Valley, Michael Minnick and Kyle Smith. And guys, what do you have to do this week in practice in order to get the victory against CCS? Well, we got to push ourselves every play. Every rep's a game rep, and we, we can't take lazy time. So, I think we need good 11-on-11 11 because 11 we don't get enough of that. So today was a good day because we got good 11-on-11. 11 11. We had good numbers today. So we, we saw really what an other team would look like. And what do you have to do in pre not only in practice, but what do, when it comes to game time, what are you going to have to do during the game in order to reverse the outcome from last week when you guys fell to Silverdale? Just uh, hope like we don't get as tired as much. we got to work on conditioning, keep water in our system. I don't think all of us got water in our system. Stop the cramping. And that's the main part of our team is the cramping hurts us. What about you, Michael? Uh, I think Kyle pretty much covered it, just keeping hydrated and uh, keeping cramps off and uh, just staying pumped up the entire time. This is Jake Chapman with River City Sports, and joining me on River City Sports is Khalil Peoples and Austin Stansford. And guys, what do you have to do this week in practice in order to reverse the outcome from last week when you fell to Silverdale? Um, in practice, we really just have to focus more, play less, and get to right to the business. I think what happened last practice, we weren't really focused, and we had rain days, so we didn't really get to play practice as much. And just stay conditioned, and really, we can do it. Right. What about you, Austin? Well, like you said last week, we just had a lot of, because of the weather, we just couldn't really practice as much. And this week, it's been pretty good this week, so we've been able to get out here, get to it. Uh, we need to go hard on our conditioning, make sure we're sprinting 100%, and then just keep working hard. This is John Neal, report for River City Sports. We're down here on a beautiful August afternoon at Lookout Valley High School. I'm here with sophomore quarterback Evan Walker, senior running back Jalen Wynn. Guys, had a pretty good week of practice. And Jalen, you know, you said you caught a cramp last week have you hydrated more this week what are you going to do you know your key aspect of this team they're going to need you running a little bit what are you going to have to do i'm going to drink water every day bring a water ball to class and yeah. drink and do everything and being the, being the quarterback and being the running back what are y'all going to have to do as an offense to you know put some production against the ccs team that had held grace to zero last week we're just going to have to run the ball effectively and catch all of our passes. And Coach Webbs, you know, talked about y'all watching some film this week, also talked about, you know, what they bring as a team that y'all be facing this week. But what do y'all feel maybe be some concerns that they possess for y'all? They, they just get to the ball real fast and they have an up-tempo offense and we're just going to have to stop them, stop their running game and see what we could do with their passing game. Um, I, I, we had to stop number five. He, he's pretty good running, but we, we have to stop him. This is John Neal for River City Sports. We'll be here Friday for our game of the week. Evan Walker, Jalen Wynn.